Welcome friends, it's Fern and Frank with Java Walker World and here we are leaving Terceira Azores, Portugal for our next destination. Pico Island in the Azores, Portugal. We had a wonderful flight on Sata Airlines and now we are arriving in the small village of Santa Cruz where we will be staying three weeks visiting Fern's mom. That's me, Fern. Sister, my heart, my twin. Sometimes I want to go back. Just wanted you to know. Santa Cruz is a beautiful seaside village, complete with a community seaside pool. And here is my mom at 87. She's looking great, walking well, and still living on her own. She has a whole community around her taking care of her. Well, come and join Frank and I. We're going on a hike and we're going to a very special place that I, I really is close and dear to my heart. Um, but in the meantime, as we're walking along, what you're going to notice is that this Santa Cruz village has a lot of banana plants. There are tons and tons of banana fields here. It is the side of the island that is sunnier and hotter and so there's bananas and a lot of orange groves. There you go. You'll also notice that the houses are very colorful here. Here's an orange grove. The sea here is a beautiful deep blue. The nature here is spectacular. The amount of birds here are tremendous. Beautiful views and vistas everywhere you look. Well, here we go. These are chestnuts and this is a chestnut tree. And a little different than our Canadian chestnuts, which are not edible, but there you go. Ouch, prickly, ow! <laughs> down, Ray! <right. laughs> down, boy, down, boy! <laughs> oh, they're so prickly! But here are the chestnuts. Ow! <laughs> Ouch! There we go. And here are the chestnuts. And these are edible chestnuts. Very cool. But boy, ours in Canada are very different. Ouch! One thing you'll notice on the Azores, on all nine islands, is that the roads are in excellent shape. They really do maintain the roads. Look at that. Santa Cruz is part of a larger community called Hibetish. And Hibetish means rivers or uh, waterfalls. Um, in the translation, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but when you're down uh, in the lower level where the houses are and you look up the mountains and every time it rains the waterfalls just spew out of the mountainside into the ocean. It is quite spectacular to see. Path that would go straight into um, from Kaming Sima to Santa Cruz, which is all part of the same community called Hibetish, which is called Rivers. But we're going to take this footpath and it should take us into town in Santa Cruz.
This is the footpath. This is the way it used to look. Where over there it was paved until that um, that um, river there. And so we're going to walk this way. In the old in the old days, this is how they used to get uh, to the main road. Well, here's another river that we have to cross. And it's got an old-fashioned bridge, just made out of rocks. Well, we're off to Madalena tomorrow morning. Good night, Santa Cruz, and good morning, Madalena. Hotel Cadavelge, which is by the ferry uh, docks, and uh, it is, I would say, the only traditional style hotel on the island. Uh, there's lots of bed and breakfasts, and Airbnbs, and uh, all sorts of things like that, but as a traditional hotel, that is it, the Caravelle. So this is the ferry terminal. There is the Hotel Caravelle. You can see right there, it's one of the uh, fishing boats that they have that they catch tuna with. There's several of them and it's winter time so they are they are docked for the season. Uh, they do all their maintenance and so forth. And there's all sorts of uh, shops here for people who are coming, tourists that are coming on um, the ferry with uh, car rentals and um, bicycle rentals. Uh, if you want to go whale watching, cafes, it's still early morning so uh, there's not a lot happening. And there's uh, the whale watching and diving for people who like to do diving. So this is the inside of the ferry terminal, you can see people lining up ready to uh, get on once they've loaded um, the vehicles that are going to the other island. We're going to go in line, normally this in the morning before the ferry comes. This lineup is huge, but they've already, they're boarding now, so it's empty and we're just going to ask what the ferry ride is and what the schedule is so we can do that sometime soon. So this ferry takes cars as well as uh, passengers. Uh, so it goes from Piku to Fayal, Orta, which is that island right there. And this is the uh, front entrance of the um, 
or what we see when you come out of the ferry docks. You can see Pico right there, which is the top mountain of Pico uh, and the downtown um, village of Madalena. And we'll keep uh, walking around and taking a look. Here's a tour company that has uh, mountain climbing to get up to the Pico, the very top of it. Uh, it looks like tonight, they or on November 17th and 18th, they're going to have a climb that's overnight. And that schedule says there's a climb on the 16th and 17th in the daytime. Uh, so they've got things scheduled and they're opened at 1 o'clock. They have wine tours, jeep tours, banana tours over here. They have diving and whale watching and swimming with the dolphins. Let's rock and roll now that we have our rental car. We picked up our rental car and let's see if we can get our bearings here. This is what uh, the shape of Island of Pico looks like. We picked up our car here in Madalena. We're going to take a drive on the north coast this way and take a look at all those small little villages through here. On the north side of the island, is St. George, which is a different island altogether, um, end of the island, and we're going to go around to here, to where we're staying, and the other major city or village, um, I guess town it would be, uh, would be Lajish, which is in here, San Roque is right here, and Madalena, those are the three major Let's towns. Let's visit the winery of Pico and its museum. Here we are in Pico's Museum of Wine and Vineyards. Pico Island knows a thing or two about making wine and producing wine. They've been doing it since the late 1500s.
Thank you for spending this time with us. Watch for our next video, which is coming soon.